Good evening everyone, hope you're all well. Sorry for the little bit of a delay there. I'm just still learning as you all know, so I'm still in the process of which buttons I'm allowed to click and which ones I'm not. So my name is Tony Darrock. Welcome to Studio 3 this evening. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's a lovely day. The weather is beautiful. And I've got some new goodies for you all. So if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button. There is also a little bell that will give you that half an hour notice as well. Now, if you're tuning into Studio 3 for the first time, we love for you to come and say hello. It's our brand new studio where we give you industry news, product previews, um, anything to do with the industry. And we also try and talk about the week that's just passed or the week that's just coming. So thank you so much for joining me. I have a great giveaway the full collection and I've also oh excuse me I've got a terribly itchy nose now and I've also got another giveaway as well from when I said we launched studio three a week ago so I'm giving two of these collections away in this evening's show all you need to do is share just share so if you're allowed to share from whatever platform you're watching from so if you're watching from Facebook and share don't get in trouble you need to share and then you need to pop a comment on to say that you've shared and then um, if you're on YouTube, if you've got the capability to share it on there as well, that would be brilliant. Sharing is caring and sharing the love of craft as well. It makes me very happy and it's also going to allow us as a company to grow. So are we all ready then? Are we all ready for a lovely, lovely evening? The weather is great. I'm going to do a shout out. So I've got a few things going on. So let's have a look who is on on this side. So we have whereabouts in the world are you all from i like to know as you all know and what have you been doing today let's talk about something different what have you had to eat today for your lunch let me know so hi brenda Danici. hi don thomas hi everyone crafting this afternoon watching the demos did you all enjoy today's studio at one o'clock with our create together club stamp i hope you did it was the first one of seven so six more to go back with you tomorrow at one o'clock with the second show using that fabulous stamp in a different way of course and i have seen all of your lovely makes over on the facebook page as well they are beautiful well done everybody i'm so proud of you all i've just come from tom's um, parents evening as well um and he is a superstar absolutely superstar handwriting needs a little bit of work but everything else is flying so that's amazing so let's leave Facebook and let's go on to our YouTube. Wow, um, lots of you on. Oh gosh, it's going too fast. So hi Jan, hi Brian, hi Tina, hi Joyce, hi Deborah, hi Wendy. Wendy is from Luton. Let's have a look. Carol, Carol is from Leicestershire. Oh gosh. Love today's studio, Shirley. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Valerie's from Bristol. Oh, Marilyn says itching the nose means a surprise. Is that true? Because it's terribly itchy. I don't know. I'm not sure about that, Marilyn. So Charlotte's from North Devon. Um, let's have a look. So Teresa's a little bit annoyed. She has the stamps but missed the show. Good news for Tom. Absolutely. Amanda shared from YouTube and Facebook. Thank you, Amanda. Jane is from Dorset. And we have Roxilly from Manchester. Wow. It just goes a little bit fast for me, as you know. I suffer from a little bit of um, nausea and a little bit of um, vertigo. It does go a bit crazy at times. It's a little bit heightened with the heat as well. So, hi Helen, hi Jan. Jan is from Spain. Oh, I bet it's red hot. Thank you for joining us, Jan. So, we'd like to know where you're all from in the world. Um, oh, God, there's lots of you on. Don't forget to share. So, let's show you some of the lovely products that are going to be launched over on Create and Craft on the 31st, which is Thursday. I'm going to be doing the launch, which is 4 p.m., Helen Kirkham's going to be doing the 8 p.m. and the 8 a.m. on the Friday morning. Okay, so it's a lovely little spring collection. It's dye based as well. So our last collection was all stamps, if you remember. So this collection is all dyes, complementing of each other as well. So the stand tall collection, if you got that, it's going to work beautifully with this collection. But equally, they're going to work as enterprises on their own as well. So shall we have a little look at what we've, what we've got in show? And I've got a lovely demo for you all. So to say thank you for joining me as well. 
So if you have any questions, the best way to um, ask the question is put Q, 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 because I seem to pick that up. And then I'll ask any, I'll answer any questions. Shared on YouTube. Thank you, Valerie. And that's how we will go. If you are watching on other social media platforms, the best place to come and get the interaction is on the YouTube page. OK, because that's where most of the people join our channel and that's where most people like to chat and interact with each other. However, it doesn't matter which platform you're on. OK, so if you're thinking I'm not a YouTuber, I don't want to be a YouTuber, you can watch on the other four platforms that we're streaming to live right now. And I do try and do shout outs to all of the platforms, but the best place is YouTube. And if you're not a subscriber, why not? Because we have a lovely channel that's very interactive, very inspirational. And we have a family that join us every single day who are there to help um, share the love of craft. Just like me, it's a beautiful channel. Hi Rosie, I hope you're well sweetheart, um, shared on Facebook and with friends, well done, thank you so much Karen, all the chatterboxes are here, <laughs> very true, right so let's have a look at this collection, it's a lovely collection now, I'm going to start with something quite glorious and it's the Sunray collection, let's have a look here, so this one, so it's our spring collection and this is the lovely Sunray and it's got that beautiful stitch detail in there. It's a five by seven sort of cover plate as well. So you'll be able to get all of that detail. Great for gents cards. It doesn't matter really which way you pop it either. You're going to get all of that detail. It's just beautiful. And if you want to snip away half of the design and just have half of it on show, um, you can absolutely do that. Maybe use your circle nesting dies with smaller sentiments in there. So it's A5. You can see some of the words that are coming up as well. It's just a really good go-to um, cover plate that's absolutely beautiful. And if you snip away some of the elements, you can create different shapes and things like that. If you snipped it from here and round, you would have the shape of a sun on the corner of a page. And like so with the line up here as well where it's all connecting. It's really, really pretty. I love this one. So that is the sunshine. Don't forget, I am giving the whole collection away twice tonight because I did say I would give this collection away when I launched studio. So let's have a look what's next. Oh, let's have okay, let's have a look at spring boots. So it's a lovely spring collection, ladies and gents. Totally different. So you get the boots and the sort of snowdrop design in here. And then we get some Wellingtons where you can pop um, coloured cardstock behind and get the spots through the Wellingtons. The paper piece, we've only done these three here that you can paper piece. Can we see these three flowers here? Because I felt like sometimes when we say paper piecing, there's a thousand bits and I can't be bothered with it. So it's just got those three components there which you can paper piece and it's absolutely beautiful you get the matte and layer as well so if you want to do the sort of outline design you can do that too so these are absolutely exclusive to creating craft and they're available on the 31st and then from midnight on they will be available with us okay so that one is spring boots let's just move these to the side here so we can you can see so if you want to screen grab your favorites if you are shopping ahead thinking right i'm going to have this one i'm going to have that one because <laughs> i know what a lot of you are like there we go. So we have Sunray and Spring Boots. Then let's have a look at this one. Then we have Beaming Smile. Another, another beauty. So you get the vase of flowers. And the vase looks really realistic as well. You get the sort of daisy, sunflower-esque design on there. And you get this one from a side shot. And then you get the open fretwork from the front shot on this one as well. Really, really beautiful. And if you've got all of your foliage dies and you tuck in elements as well, you can tuck these in and really give them that really full, full bouquet. I love the Wellington boots, Charlotte said. Shared on Facebook, June. Thank you so much. Love this one. Awesome. Nola, love the wellies. A little bit different, hey, Sue? The boots are fab. Jane, oh, loving these so far. Um, beautiful, shared. Sue says she spent so much recently. They're so lovely. Listen you know me if you're looking at them and thinking they're lovely then that's amazing that's just very kind of you but you need to be wowed by the products that you're buying i'm sorry because i know they'll just end up in the bottom of a drawer if you know instantly you're going to do something with them then they're going to be a great buy okay 
money's tight budgets are smaller than normal okay only buy if you know you're going to use it as much as you love them i sound like your mother now don't i as long as you know you're going to use them then they're going to be a good buy okay um, and they're all available um, as individuals and there's some pairs as well so if you like the twos then you'll be able to get two or individuals or equally if you bought the last stand tall collection and you're you're happy with your stand tall collection then maybe you might want to wait until we do something else i'm not trying to put you off buying because that's totally not me but what i do say to you is always always know when you're buying you've got to get these products used make it worth the money you know so let's go on to the next one so that's beaming smile and it's those two lovely vases let's move that one over here so i'm giving this full collection away don't forget though there is that lovely qr code on the back as well and this is going to get you to all that tuition um and i have had a few questions about the qr code as well it's taking you to places where you don't want to be and we are on with it um just be patient with that one if we can because it's a little bit difficult at the moment with um having pretty much no staff now but we'll see so our next one so happy so these are your bouquets one's got a bow a chunky bow and one's got a slim bow now i wouldn't want to paper piece that one if i'm completely honest but i would have a go at this one with the three flowers in there so this is four dies total these are big the packaging's not really doing it justice but these are big will these be on htcn tina tina they will be available from midnight after tv so on tv um the last show on tv or if it sells out it's available from midnight that night okay so say if say say for instance it sells out on if it sells out on the day I'm live, which is Thursday, they'll be available from midnight. If there's still stock left on Friday morning, uh, for the eight a.m. show, they'll be available from midnight that night. If that makes sense from the last show. So happy. That's that one. And then we have botanical wings oh my gosh you need this in your life i've just said don't buy and then i say you need this in your life i'm so crazy and we all got a drink what are we all drinking this evening i'm on the water as always <laughs> botanical wings now this is two beautiful border dies they are big and i'll show you because i'm going to show you this one so you get the borders that go top and bottom and then you get this sort of foliage one where it's solid in it, solid in parts and open in parts, but equally you can double up so you can create that panel on a wedding invite, on a card, you can do a side panel. It's just beautiful. I absolutely adore this one. So this one is botanical wings and they all look amazing together. And then we can't do any collection without some words. Now you all love the last set of our words. This is the next set. So you all love the concept of no mat and layer. So it was like hidden behind, can remember. So this is just because, and it's that same concept. And then we have this one here, which is the same. But if you've noticed, we've, I've popped kind on the side here because I just felt it, it looked really quirky. And normally we would pop it up here, but to be different, I popped it down the side. It looks beautiful, Daiko, and I'll show you. And then we've got good vibes, which is a very uplifting sentiment. And the top die sits on the base, but it pushes up to the sort of top. So you mat and layer it on the top and then you get this like shadow underneath. It's really, really cool. So let's just refresh this because it looks like I've um, just one second. Hopefully I'll get that back. It's just thinking about it. So we've, oh, we've got lots of people on um, USA page. Jane Davison. Thank you so much for sharing. Lovely to have your company this evening. And then on here, when the... Oh, gosh, that glass mat. The glass mat, be patient. I um, It won't be long. The, the problem I've had, and I've explained it a few times, is um, it was all ready to go. And as you all know, we had a difficult time with Create and Craft, not paying the old Create and Craft. So it sort of set us back a little bit, not getting the money that was due so we're sort of trying to recover and we've had to prioritize staff getting wages rather than paying for product so it has been paid for now and it is on its way so we just have to wait for that one to come i would have never have shown you it if i had ever, ever thought that we were never going to get paid but it is what it is we ha we are sorted now it has been paid for so it will be coming soon i hope that's okay let's go back to this so this is that lovely words six in there you get the shadows behind so shall we craft so i'm going to do a giveaway for sunray spring boots 
beaming smile so happy botanical wings and kind friends and i'm going to give two away two away okay so which is absolutely fabulous isn't it and i will pick two winners at the end as long as you've shared you need to let me know that you have shared whether it be on um stamps by me usa stamps by me limited or htcn or on our youtube channel so adele she's not having a naughty drink tonight that's because you've got work you have to work adele you're very welcome um kirsty um let's have a look. question question will the map be available soon is that is that on delayed or is that just people going for the box <laughs> right let's do some crafting now i have a, a demo already prepped ish so i'm going to just grab my die cutting machine here and let's just grab our bits and pieces so first of all let's show you how these dies absolutely cut because they are so gorgeous let's just get rid of this here now i prepped this a couple of about a week ago now so i hope i remember what i was gonna do let me just get all of my components out here you know when you try and be organized but then you forget oh that's that's the story of my life so a couple of things to tell you about then i have a facebook like as you all know, Teresa Collins is coming to the House of Craft Network studio on Monday. Um, we're going to, I'll send out a schedule so you all know when to tune in. But before that, we're going to do a Facebook Live together and it's going to be on Wednesday. You'll just have to wait for the time, but we're going to do a Facebook Live together where we're going to have a chat about what to expect, how excited we both are. Uh, product and things like that i'll keep you posted on the time but make sure you save wednesday as a little bit of a a gap for um teresa and me so excited did you did you see that little cheeky smile oh <laughs> right so what i'm gonna do i think this one is mine yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut that border first of all which is the botanical wings and i'll show you the dies because they are huge just set that to the side there open this one up wait till you see the size of these they are huge let's have a look on the overhead let me just move my machine for a second so let's show you here so look at the size of this it's so gorgeous then you get your mat and layer which gives you that border element if you want to um, rise and fall on your cards and then you get this lovely one too which is huge it's like a slim line style and then you get the outline for this one as well see that there so let's just run this one through really quickly and show you how it works so just bring in my die cutting machine here and we'll just grab our plates Thank you so much for sharing, Sue. Thanks for sharing another Sue. Thanks for sharing, Lynn. Um, Adele's question, question, will I have this collection at Port Sunlight? Probably not, because if it's anything to go by stand tall, it will all have sold out by midnight, because a lot of you <laughs> bought it at midnight. So when ladies and gents got up the next day to go and buy it, thinking, oh, I'll get it in the morning, it's no problem, it were all gone. Everybody thought it was an issue and it wasn't, but we'll see, we'll see. So I'm just going to run this one through really easy. Super easy. And this is such a gorgeous die set. I'll pull it back as well, just in case I've missed any detail. So is everybody loving Studio 3? Are we liking the later show times instead of me studying my kitchen? What are we all thinking? Are we enjoying the show so far? I really am enjoying the shows, I have to say. I get quite excited about being in Studio 3 because I'm left to my own devices. My family are at home, so I can just play and sort of like get myself sorted. No rules situation, but always professional, she says. Until I can't switch it off at the end and you're all looking at me as if to say, yep, yeah, you said you were going, but you're still there. <laughs> Story of my life, eh? 
So let's pop this one out and show you how gorgeous this is. Give it a rattle. I'm just doing it in white now, but um, obviously you can, can imagine this in gold on a Christmas card. Wow. And get rid of all the little pieces in here. So you can see how gorgeous that is. That's just so beautiful. My kind of die is this one. So I'll just get rid of that one for now. And then we have the floral one. So you can imagine this through the top and the bottom absolutely like the top of a card and then turned the other way like so and at the bottom and then a stamp sentiment in the center would look really pretty wouldn't it right let's just move this out of the way this is such a quaint little springtime collection we've never done anything like this before um and as you know we're trying to do things a lot differently um trying to chop things up a little bit um, we've got lots of new exciting things coming. We've got some lovely, um, I'll just get rid of all of this one second, ladies and gents, because you know how, how much I like to try and keep a tidy station. Uh, we have some lovely um, stamp stencils, dies and embossing folders all for um, this week. And I'll be showing you some samples of those as well. And the stamp looks like it's been hot foiled onto the embossing folder. It's a showstopper, let me tell you. I cannot wait to show you. Um, so stamp, so you stencil, then you can stamp if you want to. You can stamp on its own because everything works as an entity on its own. So the embossing folder will work on its own. The stamp will work on its own. The stencil will work on its own. The die will cut the stamp. The die will cut the stencil, but you can put all four together and you look, it looks like one of those embossed cards that you get from the shop, you know, where it's really embossed. And then you've got um, highlights of gold foil. If you do it in gold embossing, can't wait to show you. So it's like a four step process to get the end result. It's stunning. I can't wait to show you. And the stencils are not just a one layer stencil. Some of them have three layers, some of them have four layers. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. And the stamp and embossing folder process to get those two to work. <sighs> Epic. I think I've been on it for about six months <laughs> to get those two to work. But now I'm happy with it. Four things all together. It's super, super cool. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? And what am I going to cut next? So let's grab our next one. Now I'm going to cut the vase. The vase. So I'm going to cut this one here, Beaming Smile. Here we go. And I'm going to cut... Let's cut this one because my demo prep has already been done with this one. And this one will show you what this one is like. So let's show you this one. We'll do the second one on this one. Sorry, I'm leaning in. I'm just trying to see the comments because it's really dark. It's the screen. You know, with the bright lights in here, it's really difficult to see. Right, so I'm going to use this one. You see how big they are? Showstoppers, really, really lovely. So let's pop this onto this white card here. Well, you get the matte and layer as well, don't forget. So if you do want to decorate it and elevate it, you can absolutely do that as well. So excited for them. I know, I'm such a giddy kipper. Well, to be honest, we've done embossing folders. We've done them really well. We do layering stencils and dies really, really well. So I just knew the next stage would be to add a stamp into that sort of um, crafting, but it's not been easy because if you don't get it quite right, the embossing folder looks like it's been squashed when you stamp. Obviously you stamp first, but it just sort of like crushes the design not physically crushes it it looks like it's been crushed it hasn't been crushed but it looks like it so the stamp has to fit seamlessly to make it look like we've elevated the embossing folder rather than made it look like it's been squashed if that makes sense at all so let's just get this out of here 
I'll just give it a shake. Pop all of those little pieces out. Pop that bit out there because that's the water. And then pop out all of the little elements at the edge. And this is just... So pretty. So Jan says, question, question, will you be releasing another Tell Me A Story paper collection? Yes, Jan, we will. Coming soon. So let's just move all of this out of the way. Um, try and keep a tidy station, Tony. Come on. So what I wanted to show you was... Oh, I think I may need to cut two of those because I have to show you this technique. Yes, I'm going to cut two. Sorry. Sorry about that. I just want to show you a, a cool technique. So let me just get rid of all of the bits off here. So we need to cut two for this technique. Just going to use the die again. What have I done with the die? Did I pop it away? Oh, no, it's here. So just make sure all the pieces are out of here. So I'm going to cut it twice. Just run this one through so i'm not going to go into great detail i have one prepped but i want you to see the technique because it is a cool technique and it looks super cool with these dies so i'm just going to cut this one shared you're all sharing thank you so much sound amazing they are they're going to be amazing you're going to absolutely love them i'm certain of it and each and each one works as an independent as well which is like incredible because that's why i'm trying to as a designer trying to get value for money as well myself but we've not only got that my gosh we've got our five-year anniversary for our eureka so we're going to be doing our five year anniversary for our Eureka. Um, we have lots of new product for you Eureka as well, which is super exciting. That's going to be in July, I believe, or June. Oh, this hasn't quite cut. Could have gone do, done with going through twice. I'll leave that piece in just so you get the idea. Um, and then what else have we got going on? Oh, I've got lots of stuff going on in the studio this month. We've got another surprise guest in studio as well, which I'm super excited. Another corker. I can't keep my mouth shut, can I? Honestly, I do worry about myself sometimes. So that hasn't quite cut at the base, but let me just continue on and just show you the concept because I think it's a really cool concept. I ain't missing any questions, am I? Giddy Kipper, Giddy Kipper from Scotland. <laughs> right, let's just get tidied up here. So the concept is... Oh gosh, it looks like it's been snowing. So pretend this is all cut out. All you do is you grab some cardstock we glue this to our cardstock hopefully my glue is not blocked it's showing signs of blocked oh maybe not so all you do is you take your die cut oops a daisy a bit too much glue there and you glue it to your mat and layer which you can pre-cut if you want to or I'm just going to stick this flat for now or just onto your card really simply so let's pop it down on here look let's just get rid of that from there because that's not helping
like so so you stick it onto your back in your mat and layer i mean it looks beautiful white on white doesn't it and then i'm just going to take my pencils and then we're just going to color in some of the detail inside the flower so just take your pencil and color within the lines now don't worry too much if you get any of the color on the top part okay so i'm just let's just do this one flower like so so push right in and it'll look ugly because you've got it all on the sides and all on the top like so let's just add a little bit of a shadow or shading in there so you can imagine getting into all of the greenery if you wanted to let's add a bit of red here and then i go back in with the orange and blend them together because these are the oil pastel pencils which blend beautifully so i'd go back in with the orange and just blend it out so I get dimension on my flower, okay? And then the technique that I'm heading towards is, I'll just put this down here for now. You get the one that you've cut then to hide the ugliness and you glue it on top, directly on top. And then what you end up with is a seamless blend underneath because this top layer hides all of the ugliness underneath does that make sense and then what happens is you end up with something like this and i've just added some sparkle to the water and to the top here and this is where you can be really creative with your designs i've stuck this white on white i popped some gray in to make it look like a uh, daisy sort of head on there as well and then we've got the glitter at the base there oh is that my family Coming to say hi. Right, so let's pop this together. So I had a plan. Like I said, I put this together. Oh, it looks like my family are here. No, no rest for the wicked, eh? So I have a card, card blank, a, bl a black piece of card. And then a white piece with two gold panels here. Now, I was thinking maybe... She can hear my voice if you hadn't gathered. That's Daffodil Daisy, everyone, if you don't know who Daffodil is. She can obviously hear my voice. Wants to get in. And then... Can we see here how our lovely borders are going to work in? And then our lovely flower. Now it's, it's personal preference. There are no rules. You could put two borders, one border. Can you see that here? So I'm going to glue these on and then I'm going to snip away those um, elements on there. So let's build it together first, shall we? So black is going to help it pop. I've stuck that the right way there I have so black to help it pop and then we've got our side panels now let's have a think about where we want to pop these I think we'll go So, she wants some attention, you're right. It's because she can hear my voice. Right, 
<laughs> I don't. It's, uh, everybody's saying hi to Tom and Tim and Daffodil Daisy. I don't know why they're here. Must have forgotten something. And then we let's pop our border on. Just a lovely collection this, it's so uplifting, very spring-like. Again, kept it quite small. So I'm just going to butt this line up to that gold. Like so. Push it up. and then I'll trim off the excess let's get it to go totally flat and just hold it for a second they're just checking on me I know just making sure I am actually working you know I'm sure so let's um, try and snip this away should have really stuck this on here shouldn't I before um, and it does look quite pretty with the overhang. I suppose it's personal preference, really. I'm not. I can't say I hate it when it's not trimmed, but it does look nice on and off. Could make a nice Easter card. I better go with the black, hadn't I? The black line, because I don't think I'd get as close to that white line. Better make that straight, Tony. Needs a bit more off there. Should have really cut this pre sticking it down, but hey ho, don't you do it at home. Like so. Now you could do the other one too. I mean, this looks lovely lead. Offset lead, look at that. Looks like feathers. And you could absolutely do the other side if you wanted to with the same one. Can you see that there? Looks so nice, doesn't it, hey? I'm, but I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do the flower one, just because we can. And I want you to see how gorgeous they both are. But probably, you would probably use the same, the same one. So as everybody shared, because I'm coming towards the end of this demo. So these will be live. Thursday and I'm live at 4 p.m. Shall we go here? Again, no rule. Right, so I like how the flower comes over, do you? Let's trim those legs off. Like so. There we go. So you could... Do you think that looks nice? Do you think that looks okay? I think that's okay, don't you? And then play around with position. I think that was quite quite pretty, like so. So you get a lovely sparkle as well on that water, which brings it all together. Coloured with the oil pencils to get me that give me that lovely blend. I'll pop it off to the right here. So I've double pad that one to give it the height. And then here is that lovely friend. Look at this. Is that not just gorgeous? Now, I did say to you, didn't I, that this was the same concept as the ones we launched last week in Stantol. This one isn't. This is a matte and layer. Let me just show you. The just because is, though, 
the same and this one's got a shadow so the one that's exactly the same is this one this one has that matte and layer for that lovely kind friend on there as well it helps if it's in short doesn't it so i'm thinking maybe here i wouldn't probably put it in the middle oh it actually looks okay should we do it so the kind is off the page let's do that let's go for it what's the worst that could happen hey i do like these sentiments i love sentiments so i'll just pop kind off the edge there so it looks like a bit of a tab maybe lift this up and tuck it in there make sure it's straight i'd have probably put some gems around as well Could have been a little bit straighter tony couldn't it hey what am i like anyway i think you get the gist and i would probably tie the sparkle through into this sort of um part here as well what do we think to that then let me know what you all think of that one let's have a look beautiful card as always oh that's super kind you and thank you so much love the friend sentiment thank you so much sue Let's just tidy up a little bit, hey. But you could see, you can see how the vase of flowers, obviously with its matte and layer, looks incredible on the sun ray because there's a matte and layer on there as well. It just looks so pretty. Very spring-like, really, really beautiful. So let's just have a quick recap of the products that I'm going to give away very quickly. Two winners today, two winners. Make sure you've let me know that you've shared. Um... Let's just pop the right camera on Tony. Remember to do remember to do it yourself. So we have, let's just go back, Botanical Wings, which is that beautiful border, two borders which have used in that card. Then we have the words, fine, uh, kind friends, just because, kind friend, good vibes. Then we have the so happy bouquets, two bouquets with the bows and the backgrounds. Then we have Beaming Smile, which is those jars we've just used. You've just seen them used. And then we have the Spring Boots, and wellington so you get boots and wellies and then we get that lovely sun ray dye on there as well so i let's have a look let's just have a quick look at the word the comments on here so lovely thank you deborah very pretty thank you karen absolutely gorgeous angela thank you so much rosie beaumont bye everyone see you later glennis bright love that sun ray it's beautiful isn't it kirsty shared many times thank you so much um nice and cheery stunning 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 thank you very much that's very kind of you all you're all too nice right so the first winner of this lovely collection is a lady called i think she might not be still on i'm not sure jan milton one winner so if you are still on the chat sweetheart just uh, message me at info at stampsbyme.co.uk jan milton and the second winner is a lovely lady who is actually on pr probably most evenings every time i um tune in because she's just an absolute regular and i feel like you know um she's very deserving of this as well so and the next winner is a lady called glynis bright Glynis Bright, you have won the complete collection also as well. So if you message me as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tomorrow I'm back with you at one o'clock with the um, Create. I've got so much going on. Create Together Club, one o'clock, second show of the seven day inspiration. Wednesday, I'm back with you at one o'clock for more inspiration on the Create Together. Then I have a Facebook Live with the fabulous Teresa Collins. Then on Thursday, I'm live on Create and Craft at 4 p.m. I don't think I've got anything else to tell you about. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely evening. Don't forget to pop a comment underneath this video when I've gone off air and I'll pick a winner, maybe for the next collection. Maybe. We'll see. Pop a comment underneath here. Did you like my card? I'm super. Let's just have one more look at my card because I think it's pretty, don't you? Super pretty card. That's going to cheer anybody up, isn't it? There we go. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. And I will catch you all tomorrow at one o'clock. Stay safe, stay safe, everyone. See you later. Bye.